Dr. Jackie has broken the internet, honey, because she said as black pregnant women, we cry wolf. We always talk about we in pain because we trying to get off work. And all of her, a lot of her patients are speaking out. And the one girl that's, that I said, that girl looks familiar. I don't know if she was, she worked for her, said that she doesn't even take Medicaid. Now, I, I personally don't have a problem with doctors not taking Medicaid. I'm going to tell you why. Uh, it's uh, today Saturday, right? Hey, y'all. Happy Merry Christmas. I'm in the Christmas season. Yay! So, I'm in the Christmas. I'm just trying to make a couple of videos just in case I don't want to get up tomorrow morning. But be sure to subscribe, thumbs up. Thank you for those of you who've left those comments uh, for me on my videos with Dr. Jackie and the Simone Biles and her trifling husband. Be sure, if you didn't see the whole video, Simone Biles' husband, what he said, go over there and see it. I can't play it again because YouTube undemonetized that video because I guess... I played the whole video, so they said I was copyrighted. <laughs> but go over there and see, and also see where Jackie made the comment about black women, and um, we cry wolf. Okay, um, we know that black women in this country, in the United States of these America, die three times more than other women of other nationalities uh, while giving childbirth. So, in other words. Out of 10 women, three will die. Is that what that means? Alyssa! Three times, no, no, no. It's three, we are three times more dying, three times more than other women in other nationalities, okay? What Dr. Jackie said is disgusting because we know there, there are healthcare disparities in this country Black women are not believed. Doctors don't believe that we are in pain because some people have it indented in their heads and in their minds that black people don't feel pain like other people do. And so here is a black woman trifling, Dr. Jackie, who should lose her license because now all her patients are coming out talking about how she traumatized them. And y'all know I am not for people losing jobs. This is a recession. But Jackie, it's time for you to go on and retire and sit on down and go on down to have a community service. As a matter of fact, don't even go to the community service because them poor old people need, need great doctors. That's what, but anyway. So one of the things one of the ladies said is uh, she, uh, Jackie did this interview with Kamala Harris and about, you know, the mortality rate for black pregnant moms and uh, talking about, you know, the whole Medicaid uh, situation and so on and so forth. So one of the ladies says she doesn't even take Medicaid. I personally do not have a problem with doctors not taking Medicaid. My doctor don't take Medicaid. My doctor that I've had since I was 16, she took the Medicaid while she was at the doc center when they're, they're doing their residency, you go to the doc center at the hospital and all the resident doctors, they see you. Of course, there's maybe one or two doctors, but they're practicing. Like my, my baby doctor said, well, technically we're practicing medicine. And so they took, they she took the Medicaid there at the doc center. Once she did her residency and got her own practice, no, ma'am, she didn't take the Medicaid. Medicaid don't pay. That 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 is a well known. Even my my Lexi doctor, God rest, God bless him, Doctor Carson, God bless Doctor Carson. We all of us in the girl. I had Lexi with six, six him in the nineties. There's a lot of teenage girls having babies. We all went to Doctor Carson. Doctor Carson was getting paid no money because it was all Medicaid. Medicaid do not pay. And let's not pretend that these doctors go to school to say, oh, I don't care. I'm just doing it for free. No, they need to live too. So if y'all want the, the Vice President Harris, you want the doctors to take the Medicaid, then y'all need to pay these doctors more. They, My doctor only takes private insurance. So if you don't have private insurance, no, ma'am, you can't come see the doctor. Not None of our doctors at this stage take private insurance. Not my doctor, not uh, Big Mike's doctor, not Lou Michael doctor. They do not take the Medicaid. If you have Medicaid, you have to go find you a Medicaid doctor. And personally, I again, I do not have, um, I don't have a problem with that. My doctor, this doctor that I've had since I was 16, she is so good and she is so great that she has so many patients that the insurance company have to say, you can't, we're not giving you any more patients because you have too many patients. My doctor's waiting list, if I remember correctly, was three years. 
if you had to come get, if you was a new patient and you wanted to come see my black woman doctor, it was a three year waiting list because we wouldn't, we, nobody changed her. She was so good. And again, I've had her since I was 16. So she's been my doctor for 30 years. Lexi's a 30 year old next, next year. And I'm so glad that I had a doctor like her. She was just the best doctor ever, which is why I kept her. She has released office staff for being rude. And one girl was there, there came for that. And I told Dr. So I said, I don't like her. I said, well, maybe she was having a bad day, but she was very rude to Lexi. And my doctor said, well, well I'm not paying her to have a, a to have a bad. I said, maybe she was having a bad day. Everybody have an off day. And she said, no, ma'am, I'm not paying her to have an off day. I, and she said, I will call the uh, the people and let them know. Don't send her back. That's the time when she, she went in a doctor's group. You know how um, the doctors have their own private practice, but in the last couple of years, they've had to come into a group. And she said, I call them, tell them not to, I don't want her to come back here. There's this other girl that work at the front, mean as a rattlesnake. And I told, I said, you know, I give people the benefit of a doubt because everybody's having, everybody have day. And the second I said, I, you know, I love you. I come here and blah, blah, blah. And this girl makes me not want to come back. She's always rude and nasty. And I try to give her the benefit of a doubt. Bam, gone. Goodbye. And after hearing these horror stories on TikTok, I'm, I'm just thinking about her. And I'm like, I wish I could just call her. She moved. Uh, she's in retirement age now. And uh, just tell her how much, how thankful I am. So ladies, when you go to your doctor, you have a doctor, let her know. Let them know how thankful you are. And so now I have a little, a little Spanish. That's just this tall. <laughs> just this tall. Wonderful. And I love her because she reminds me of my doctor that retired. So let's appreciate those good doctors out there. My husband, doctor, she, he's been with her for years. My little Michael's doctor is my husband, frat brother. Excellent doctors. My, I had a dentist for like almost 20 years, black woman. Excellent. Some of the other girls at the job didn't like her, but I loved her because <laughs> I did what I was supposed to do. I go every six months and me and Lexi, we go just go up in there every six months. The other girls, they only went when they got problems and then, you know, she's upset with them. And then they're like, I don't like her, but they keep going back to her because she's that good. It, it, it hurts my heart. And even my, my OBGYN that I had for, for little Michael, an, another black woman, you know, I remember when you, when you get pregnant, you have to go to your primary care for her to do the pregnancy test for her to confirm you are pregnant and refer you to an OBGYN. And so she told the nurse, the young new nurse, she said, get the, uh, bring the OBGYN cards. And so she brought, she brought three cards and my doctor was like, nope, nope. Okay, here. And it was a black woman, the one she re uh, she referred, another black. Excellent. Excellent, Dr. M. Excellent. I've had, I have been blessed to have excellent, excellent doctors, except the other one black lady who, when my doctor was unavailable, and you know, when your doctor's not available or she's on vacation, you got to go see somebody else. And I felt like, you know, she um violated me. Um, but other than that, I have been blessed, both Lexi and I, even my husband, um, we have been blessed to have wonderful Black women doctors. My husband has a woman doctor too. We have been blessed. And I am 46 years old and I've had the same doctor since I was 16. And I have been blessed. And my, my pregnancy, my doctor, she was just so wonderful. So it really hurts my heart when, Dr. Ja when I hear Dr. Jackie, a Black woman who's saying all these terrible things. Again, I don't have a problem with doctors not taking Medicaid. None of our primary care doctors take Medicaid. They only take the private insurance. And they don't take Medicaid because Medicaid don't pay enough. I don't, I personally don't have a, a, a problem like that. 
with, with, with that. But I have been blessed. So the next time you go to your doctor and either he or she is a wonderful doctor and they've been good to you and treat you right, tell them thank you. You know, when I go see my doctor in um <laughs> in uh February, <laughs> they call Miss Miss Thompson. It's time for your physical. I said, hold up now. You trying to do a physical on me for at Thanksgiving? I have to eat. They said, okay, Miss Thompson, what about uh December? I said, that's Christmas. I gotta eat. And so what about January? That's right after Christmas. Hello, I have to eat. I got to lose the weight. So she said, okay, you go come see February. February. I got changed my physical because I do my physical at the end of the year and I'm fat at the end of the year because I'm eating so much. Okay, so love your doctor. Tell them thank you. Appreciate them. Because when you hear stories like things that doctors say, like Dr. Jackie, you just have to be like, oh my God, I thank God for my doctor. When I say, whew, I thank God. I mean, when she told me she was leaving, I cried like a baby. I cried, I cried, I cried like a baby because I'm like, it's going to be so hard for me to find another good black woman doctor. And she did refer me to three, but they were so booked. I'm like, I can't, I can't this. For me and Lexi, I, Lexi, if I call that Lexi need an appointment, Lexi need to come see you in about two days, you know? And, and even with me, because I've been with her so long, if I call the office and the mean girl that was up there wouldn't give me an appointment, like she, know, I go to urgent care and then, you know, urgent care, send your primary doctor that your patient was at urgent care. And then she will call me, why did you go to the urgent care? And I said, cause I called to get an appointment a sick appointment. They say that you was booked and she, she fired her. She told her, no, if my patients call and it's a sick appointment, it's not a physical, it's not a, a, a pap smear or something. And it's a sick appointment. They need to come see me. They're driving past my office to go down to the street to urgent care. And Lexi, Lexi, when she had Lexi, if I call, be like, Lexi needs to come see Dr. So-and-so because it's a sick appointment. Lexi has to come in today or tomorrow. And if they don't give Lexi an appointment, she, uh-uh. She said, oh, no, y'all got to go. I told you, Lexi has to see me. If Lexi call, she needs an appointment today or tomorrow because Lexi's developmental delay. Then, uh-uh, she got to come. So, you know, I, 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 I thank God for my doctors. And I hope that for those of you who have those good doctors, because Dr. Jackie make it look bad for all the black women doctors, but some of us have some wonderful black women doctors. And I know quite a few of them who went through uh, the medical school who practices around this area. But Dr. Jackie, all your patients coming out, I heard that one girl that says, you thought the baby was underweight, you induced her, she was in labor for two days, you didn't even come see her. Then the baby was born and the baby was almost seven pounds. Malpractice! And now the poor baby is devel developmentally delayed. The Jackie need to lose her license. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I am not about people losing jobs because this is a recession. But if you are a danger to society, you don't need to be practicing medicine. And I hope to God, all the black women who see this, they will not go to her office. Call your insurance today. Call your insurance today and tell them you do not want to go see Dr. Jackie, whatever, Walters, or whatever her name is, because she is a danger to black women and black babies. She, is, Jackie, is a danger to black women and black babies. Our black babies are not safe under the care of Dr. Jackie. I got to go. Oh, I love you. Remember to show me love on Amazon with my books. Talk to you later. Bye.